Yesterday, the first offshore wind farm in America started producing clean energy off the coast of New England. Coastal turbines have been difficult to get off the ground in the U.S., but these five alone will power 17,000 homes. And the wind energy industry is the fastest growing job sector in the country. Ariel Duhame Ross went to get a closer look. This is the first offshore wind farm in the U.S. We're very lucky. And this is Jeff Grabowski, the CEO of Deepwater Wind, the company that built and operates it. What does it mean to finally have an offshore wind farm in the U.S.? It means a lot uh, because we have a huge clean energy resource off of our coast. And to date, we have not tapped into it. Who exactly will benefit from this specific offshore wind farm? So these five turbines are going to produce enough energy for about 17,000 homes. Most of the energy that we produce will end up on the mainland, but we will also produce essentially all of the energy that the people on Block Island will need. The five turbines are located three miles from Block Island, a vacation spot 13 miles off the coast of mainland Rhode Island. Until now, it's always relied on expensive diesel for its power. Each turbine rises 600 feet out of the water and has a wingspan nearly the length of a football field making them among the largest in the world. Deepwater financed the project through a combination of domestic and international energy investors, along with government subsidies in the form of tax credits. Installing the turbines was also a collaborative effort, requiring Deepwater to borrow a special crane from Europe where offshore wind is already an established industry. Europe has had offshore wind farms for years. Why has it taken so long for the U.S. to reach this point? Many European countries made a decision, a very conscious decision, to develop this new renewable energy resource. Um, we don't have that kind of national energy policy in the U.S. There are more than 49,000 land-based wind turbines in the U.S., but American beach communities have been historically resistant to the offshore counterpart past attempts to build wind farms off the coast of Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod ran into gridlock in part because beachgoers didn't want the unsightly turbines to ruin their ocean views. But that mindset may be changing. There are people who don't like to look at wind farms, and, and those are folks that um, I'll probably never change their opinions. But we have a really high level of support, and we have an island here in Block Island that's very conservation-minded. And for the most part, those folks love the fact that they're getting their energy from a renewable resource. According to Tom Kiernan, the CEO of the American Wind Energy Association, the shift in attitude is good news for coastal cities. There are some advantages. One is, boy, it blows like the dickens out here. And so we are able to have much taller, larger, more powerful turbines. And they're very close to population centers. So the transmission is much shorter. So there are huge advantages there. Having clean and renewable energy near coastal population hubs like New York City could help the U.S. reduce its carbon emissions. The future is really exciting for wind. We're currently 5% of electric generation in the United States is wind energy, and we've got enough under construction. We'll be at 10% of all electric generation by 2020. And the projection is we'll double again by 2030. According to Jeff Grabowski, Deepwater is hoping to build on this momentum using the same strategy from Block Island to fund much more ambitious offshore plans in the future. Anything that's first of its kind is a difficult thing to do. Now, our goal isn't to end with five turbines. We're going to build more and more of these projects up and down the East Coast. But this is something that we're capable of doing in the United States. This is in our wheelhouse in the U.S. We can build big, clean energy projects. It just so happens this is the first one we've done offshore. Deepwater currently has three more projects in development in Massachusetts, New York, and New Jersey.